This is tooth number three, and we're doing a zirconium onlay. The tooth behind it, tooth number two, has had an Emax or lithium disilicate onlay. The difference is, is that you don't need to remove as much tooth structure with a zirconium, and that they are very retentive and very difficult to get off, as a matter of fact. Therefore, you don't need to remove as much tooth and you're just going to see the end part of the actual preparation. We're removing the inner proximal area so that the onlay will touch the teeth uh, uh, and have no difficulty seating. You can see that there's some incipient decay that we're removing and you can see the crack that was on the lingual that went all the way out to the buckle uh, when that uh, little filling was done. We're working now on the mesial aspect and removing the contact area so that the complete contact will be in the restoration. And that will allow us to seat it very nicely. And this is a disposable diamond that uh, allows us to have a little bit of thickness for the zirconium and just a very light chamfer on the buckle area. And we continue to remove the interproximal area and you can see that both areas are completely done. There is a nice smooth surface so that there's no extra uh, areas that would uh, have uh, hang up when we place the crown and we'll be able to do this with a regular looting cement and it doesn't need to be bonded and should last for a long long time. You can see also the little crack there going from lingual to buckle.